Dennis here, CroatianSoccerReport.com. I am in Zagreb. It's uh, November 20th. Uh, there is no snow to report as of yet. I am joined by a unfamiliar face to Croatian football. He is a 15-year-old prospect out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and he has joined uh, Dinamo Zagreb and now with uh, NK Zagreb with the uh, youth team and he is hoping to make it uh, the first uh, Croatian, uh, American born Croatian that could make some noise. Uh, Stefan Skrijanic, welcome. Uh, tell us, uh, how does a Las Vegas kid make it halfway around the world to try out for the Dinamo youth team? Well, um, I was in Las Vegas and I was, I, was, I was playing soccer a lot. And I got three professional offers from teams from Mexico, Atlas, and Chivas. But unfortunately, I could not go down there to pursue it as I did not have Mexican papers. So my parents decided to send me to Croatia where we have a connection with the club Dinamo Zagreb. And through this connection, I obtained a trial, which went pretty well. Uh, tell us about the training as far as uh, Dinamo and uh, NK Zagreb, the, the difference. Uh, At Dinamo Zagreb, when I was there, um, it was very quick. Uh, we 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 just did some passing, and we played a, a bit. There was there was much of. Um, Messing around, it was not taken very seriously. Um, I did well at Zagreb. I was thought I was too small, so I went to NK Zagreb, where um, their training is much, much more difficult. It's very hard. We train very hard. We start off by juggling, um, then we do some passing within partners, one touch passing, um, then one touch passing drills, and at the end we finish with a scrimmage. Um, it's it's a very complicated practice every day, two hours a day, um, the whole week. So you've been living here about two months or so in Zagreb. Uh, how difficult has it been to adapt to uh, Croatian lifestyle? It's been actually quite easy, uh, much easier than I had thought. Um, coming from a, from a city like Las Vegas, LA, New York, um, where it's very, very fast paced, always having to be on time, always doing something, always rushing, here is very uh, uh, relaxed. Um, things aren't at, as fast, I would say that's that's the biggest thing to get used to, and it's the, it's the most easiest. You know, everything here is different. Cars are different. Streets are much smaller. Clothes are much different. I think it's much easier coming from a step above going to a step below. It's much easier. Uh, coming from a mixed background uh, and having, I mean, obviously born in the United States, uh, a Croatian American with a roots from Hungary, and uh, do you consider yourself Croatian? I do. I consider myself a full Croatian, even though my, both of my parents aren't from Croatia. Partly because I was brought up as a, a Croatian. We celebrated Croatian Christmas, Croatian Easter's. Um, you know, we always went for the Croatian national team. We made sure that we caught every single soccer game that Croatia played. Um, Hungary, yes, um, I do consider myself Hungarian, but not as much as I do Croatian. Everything I've ever done was in Croatian, we eat Croatian food, we have Croatian flags, so I would consider myself Croatian. Uh, how good is your Croatian? My Croatian is very good. Um, I can understand quite a bit, actually much more than I had thought. Um, since I've been here, I have learned quite a bit. I can speak more than more than half of, of, of the Croatian, so it's going very well. Uh, let's say, hypothetically, if the U.S. Under-21 team and later the U.S. National Team called your name, uh, what do you do? I would play for the Under-21 team. I would take that opportunity, but I would have to decline the U.S. National Team. Um, I know I'm from the U.S. and I should take it, but I've, ever since I was little, I've wanted to play for the Croatian National Team, and I would have to hope that they call me back up. Um, the Croatian national team has always been my dream to play for. I've always followed the uh, Croatian national team, and that's what I've always wanted to do: was play for the Croatian national team.
Well, obviously, you follow the Croatian national team. Uh, who is to blame for the failure failure to qualify for this World Cup? I don't think any single person is. Um, I think the team itself, you know, a series of bad performances, bad luck, you know, no real re replacement for any of the old players, no real captain to lead the team, are all responsible for our team not making it to the World Cup. Uh, and uh, lastly, uh, have you heard of Croatian soccer report? I have. And I and I have checked it out on the internet. I would say it's a very very good soccer site to find a research about young youth Croatian players. Oh, great, uh, Stefan. Thanks for your time. Uh, I present you with a Slavin Bilic Croatian Soccer Report dot com official limited edition shirt. And uh, hopefully we will see you in a Batreni shirt soon. Hope so. Thank you. Take care.